Hey guys, looks like it's another package time and I'm um, pretty excited for this one. I've been actually waiting for it for quite some time now. And uh, yeah, let's um, dig in and see what I've got this time. Give me a second. This top part. Ouch. Don't need this anymore. Well, they actually use a beer, a beer box if you look carefully, <laughs> some Japanese beer, um, rich malt, oh, okay, and what, super dry, that is cool, but this round though, the box condition is kind of fucked up, as you can see, not sure why, but I guess the, uh, the sender forgotten to put the fragile label around the box. Yeah, I don't see any fragile label, but nah, that's not important. I'm thankful that it's here finally. <laughs> oh, where shall I start? Hmm. Where is the opening? Hmm. Can't seem to find the opening. Could be here? I guess so. Just taking a wild guess. Damn. Oh, I've got to pause the camera. <laughs> it's interesting here, there's actually instruction on how to open the box. Fucking cool, eh? Okay, finally got it open. It's weird. Uh, no, usually my boxes all open from the front over here, but this one opens at the side, so <laughs> it's kind of interesting. But yeah, so as usual, Japanese newspaper. Blah blah blah. Oh no, I need two hands to remove it. Just give me a second again, guys. Starting at the box, sorry. Just pull out what we have here. There's something big in there here. Um, lots of cards over here. stuff over here which has been nothing to get for quite a while um, let me show you what I have over here um, first off a mouse pad a mouse pad for the um, yeah you guessed it right it's the um, Mario Paint uh, mouse pad but I don't have the mouse so damn also came with a uh, Super Game Boy. I've been wanting this for a very, very long time. You know, I just wanted to see how a Game Boy game looks like in, on the TV. So pretty, pretty excited to get this uh, first uh, version of the Super Game Boy. There's, a, there's actually another uh, updated version, uh, which is transparent blue in color. Um, the only difference is that it has uh, an LED, two LEDs and um, <clears throat> to a second player port so this one doesn't have any of them it just plays uh, uh, Game Boy games but still something cool to have um, down here we have the Dragon Quest 6 for the Super Family um, looks like I won't be able to play this game as um, as the other usual um, Japanese RPG games because I can't read Japanese but it has a very nice uh, box art as you can see 
so it's a great collector's piece. Yeah, so the other stuff are still packed in newspaper and I'll try to open it up and show you guys. Be right back. Oh, and there was one loose game out here and I believe it's uh, Goru Densetsu, which is the, um, what we call, what is it called again? Fate of Fury? Oh uh, yeah. You can see the retail price here, 100 yen, just one buck. Cool. Okay, back again, and I've got all the... It's a, it's a mess over here. <laughs> got everything opened up. Ripped apart, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, so we have... Um, this is my second um, Super Famicom. And it looks like in pretty good shape. Um, colors are still vibrant. Um, still in its original color. Um, the earlier Super Famicom I got was kind of yellow inside, as you can see over here. I'm not sure if the camera is picking up nicely, but you can see there's some yellowings over there. Previously, there was some sticker here, so I took it out so you can tell the differences there. So yeah, this would be a good replacement for that. Um, also came with uh, two joy pads. There's some ugly stickers here, so uh, it could be easily removed. This one also as well. Some stickers here. That looks very clean. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't get the mouse pad without the mouse, right? So here's the mouse, the Super Famicom mouse. Looks like in very good condition. Very clicky. <laughs> and uh, also came with an AC adapter. This is the unofficial one. But I won't be able to use this because it's it requires um, 100 volt. Kind of shaky. Some sound inside. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> and um, also came with some games. Um, Chrono Trigger loose, just the card only. Um, I don't know what game is this. <laughs> Any ideas? Um, another, my second copy of Donkey Kong loose, so I might be able to put this one up for sale. If any one of you are interested, please let me know, but please bear in mind I'm in Asia, Malaysia, so shipping might cost a little more. Ah, uh -huh, this is something that I've been um, looking forward to as well. Um, this is Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Very cool. And if you notice, this was bought in Hot Off. Hey, not bad, man. Finally got a Hot Off product over here. That's cool. And yeah, Mario Paint. I've been wanting to try this um, game for quite some time as well. Uh, because I know that um, it has a music sequencing software and you can basically compose songs um, in using the Super Famicom sound chip so that's pretty cool next game we have um, Romancing Saga also bought from Hard Off <laughs> for a buck cool has some name written on it next one and Dragon Quest 5 Oops, my battery is running low. One bar, I gotta do this quick. Next one is my second copy of Super Street Fighter 2. This one's going to eBay as well. My next one, aha, Yoshi Land. I've been wanting to play this on the real hardware, so pretty excited to get this. Um, next one, Romancing Sega 3. Not too keen on that. And my second copy of Street Fighter 2 also going to eBay. So yeah guys, that's that's all I have over here. Actually the main reason I got this lot is for the Mario Paint, uh, Chrono Trigger and the Super Game Boy and uh, what else? Um, Yoshi Land and also this uh, uh, Super Famicom here which looks incredibly new. There's only a uh, ugly mark over here, which I think I can just wrap it off. So, yeah, just to show you guys what I got today. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye.